Hey guys, and welcome back to Monster Hunter Rise. Today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to do the economic stimulation request from Rondine, the Argosy Trader. By doing this request, you will actually unlock your third submarine. And all you have to do is collect one King Rhino, three Rock Roses, and three Bismuth Prisms. So in order to collect all three types of these items, you need to go to the gathering hub, the hub over here to Minato, who's going to be giving you the quests and you have to do these in high rank because these items will only drop in high rank. So go to high rank expedition tour and we're first going to the flooded forest. Now this is where we're going to be finding our King Rhino. Now once you load into the level, whether you've had your canteen food or not, it doesn't matter, we're only here to collect. Hold the minus button to open up the detailed map, go to the special items and search for the shining rhino item here. And it will locate these blue icons with question marks on your map to tell you where you can find these locations to mine to see if you can find the king rhino. The Shining Rhino Insect will appear on the wall, as you can see, right over there. You can also find them right at the top of the giant pyramid, but there's a kind of a cool way to get into the pyramid. You actually have to climb all the way to the top this direction. And once you get here, there is a door that you can actually plant a bomb, a big barrel bomb, and a small barrel bomb, or anything. You just need the big barrel bomb to go off, and it'll actually blow up the door, and you can go inside there. And inside there, there's another Shining Rhino that has a very high chance of giving you a King Rhino, though all of the ones I gathered gave me one in Instantly anyway. So now you can open up your menu, complete the quest, go back to the hub where Minato is, and now we're going to be getting the second one, the Rock Roses, which we can go in high rank, go to an expedition tour, and we're going to be going to the Sandy Plains. Once you're in the Sandy Plains, you can hold the minus button to open up the detailed map, go to the special items, and search for Desert Rose. You'll see these kind of orangey markers, the question marks on the map now. Those are the ones that you need to go to. There's only like four locations on the entire map that you can find them. Once you do find the Desert Rose, you'll notice that it looks like a bunch of rocks just like this. This is a Desert Rose that we're going to be mining or harvesting right now to get our Rock Roses. That gave us two Rock Roses, so we have to go to another location on the map, one of those other question marks to find some more. And once you have enough, you can open up the menu, press the plus button, and go to complete quest just like this to basically go back to the village. Now to get the bismuth prisms, you need to be hunter rank 6 to be able to actually unlock the biome. You need to go to the lava caverns, which will only unlock once you have hunter rank 6 quests unlocked, where you can actually go to the, the lava caverns. So once you have that hunter rank, you can go to an expedition tour and just start it immediately, and let's get searching. And just like we found the items on the other ones, open up your detailed map and go to the searching, change it to special items, search for iridescent ores. You can see three of them are above ground right over here. There's probably more in the caves, which you can actually change by changing that, but we're just going to go for those three on the map right now. Once you find the iridescent ore, you'll see they look kind of like this, very abstract and colorful and completely not ore looking like at all. So just mine these, you will get your bismuth prisms from them. I got all three in one, so that was pretty cool. All you have to do now is basically complete the quest, go back to the village and we're gonna go to the Argosy. So to complete the quest all you have to do is go to the Buddy Plaza, find Rondine the trader and you can speak to her and hand in the delivery for your your final submarine and you'll see you now have three submarines loaded all over here and it's pretty cool. All you have to do is speak to the Argosy lady Rondine again and you can actually send someone out on all three submarines to collect items that you may be needing for your your hunts that you're doing and also don't forget to do your casual bargains on all of them and use a Lagni Apple if you want to increase the odds of of resources and items being collected, which is pretty cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful and thank you so much for watching.